what's up you guys it's rachel and i just wanted to shoot a, like an update video on where my transition's at and everything i wow like honestly i've never been this happy in my entire life i the only regret i have is that i didn't do something sooner and i every day when i see myself in the mirror i have such peace such confidence i feel happy i feel beautiful just authentic you know i can genuinely be how i feel on the outside and the inside it's just congruent it's amazing i i guess throughout the time i've noticed you know obviously all the different changes thinking back to this time like maybe even two years ago i couldn't even have fathomed like going out of public of wearing nail polish or having long hair that wasn't being past my eyes bugging the crap out of me you know getting to where i like my makeup adjusting to like i was working on the car and then when i start first started having breast growth like <laughs> just it's crazy all the things that i had to adapt to and just looking back you know there there definitely are still their ups and downs and you know i have my moments but on on average in general i feel more predictably and more on average happier than ever before so i just kind of want to make this update video for me and you know for any of you guys who have maybe been questioning if you should do it if you have been going through the processes to transition i'm not necessarily talking to the people who are kind of before all that wondering well you know if i am or you know i'm not really sure i, I mean for the people who you know you've started and you know but like even i had my doubts for sure and there was a lot of times where i'm like look i can't do this i i, I should just live out my life as i am whatever you know I, i'm gonna lose so much and i i'm so happy that i stuck through it, you guys i really really am and if i had any advice the one thing that i remember that kept me going like the one thing is if I sat down and I asked myself that if I could choose, if I could pick my earthly avatar, like it was a video game, just a magic button to be whatever gender, what would I pick? And 100% of the time, you guys, is female. Zero doubt whatsoever. And that kind of told me like, well, so you're really just scared of the transition part. Like you don't wanna transition, but if you had the option to be born, a certain way you would so i did and i i honestly i i feel amazing so for any of you guys who are maybe still kind of worried about your transition or have your kind of mixed thoughts and stuff just stick through it stick through the awkward phases i know you've seen my videos so there's a lot of the times where i didn't look that cute my hair was like super jacked up and i still had you know it's it takes a long time. I'm not a very patient woman at all. <laughs> and hormones are a slow process. But, oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. It's, I'm in Arizona. It's literally like 110. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, you guys, that, I just want to make this short video kind of updating. Not, not a lot of other changes since I've been in hormones. I was like, I'm having a little bit of more breast growth. I'm a B, which is pretty rad. I'm okay with it. If I get more, great. If not, like... I have a little key thought of like getting a boob job. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, like skincare feels good. Not a lot of like differences hair growth wise. I still have really thick hair. Hopefully I'm going to get it done. And body hair wise, I was really never like a hairy person. Um, a lot of people are saying um, the mental side too, as far as like the, you know, before I started hormones, I was, I was really nervous because I was wondering, man, I'm already, I recognize myself as an emotional person and I'm about to be hormonal and emotional. It's going to be a terrain wreck, but it, it was honestly fine. For me, I didn't notice any difference. I just slipped right into the role. It, you know, that's just one of the things, especially with the combination of estrogen and progesterone. I guess this is supposed to make you like hypersensitive emotion wise. And at least for me, I, if anything, it felt more stable. 
I guess. I guess I obviously, I have my days where I, I you know, I, I cry, I have emotions and stuff too, whatever. But in general, it's, it's more in the middle, you know, it's, it, it's more skewed towards happy. And I really like that. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope this is a cool documentary thing for all of us. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.